That morning, as I awoke from peculiar and creative dreams, I had an idea. It wasn't the first time I got ideas. Ideas for a novel, a movie, a play, a song, or a work of art. But the difference was, this time, it was a damn good idea. Immediately after the first good idea, a second good idea popped up. This was turning into a very creative morning as a few moments later I was again struck with another idea. Of course, due to the circumstances, I had little else to do lately but think. I tried to hold on to the very first idea because it was so good I didn't want to lose it. I had to keep it all in my head. As for ideas, I had no idea what was going on that morning as they just kept coming. I had to stop them. It was nothing short of a storm of ideas. I couldn't let them escape, now could I? Meanwhile, I was going to be late for work again. And that day I really had to be on time to the office. I had to attend an important brainstorming meeting. But it looked as if the only storm was going on in my own brain. The most annoying thing about those ideas was that they came rapidly and unexpectedly. They appeared so fast and yet they were permanent and important enough to capture. Later, I came up with an idea. An idea to rank the ideas in an order. I had to categorize them in groups of first, second and even third rank. But I had no time because yet another one of those bastards was coming along. It looked as if every move or action produced a remarkable idea, like a stupid cat idea. How about an idea about a man who follows his cat to know what her life is all about? A whole world opened up. It was a revelation. Every second I saw a flash of genius and true light, everything fell into place in the right perspective, and furthermore, everything got a second underlying meaning. I was overwhelmed by an attack of symbolic elements. I opened the door to another world and faced a horizon full of fantasy without limits growing brighter by the second. The Blitzkrieg was complete. What an insane overkill of ideas. They begged to be noted and written down, to be classified for eternity, for the human race. It didn't matter where. It was unfortunate that they didn't come to bother me in my sleep, those damned ideas. Rather than disguising themselves in symbolic images or nightmares, they just disturbed my ordinary daily life. During moments I would certainly do without them. This was the opposite of writer's block. It was writer's attack. Every move, an idea. Every footstep, an idea. I had to stall. Buy some time to write them all down. It was an army. There were many, too many, and they turned my whole life upside down. The only question was, when would all this end? With this condition, I was unable to concentrate on anything, but these ideas and I had that meeting to attend. Another one popped inside my head. The car brought yet another idea. A man whose onboard computer begins to give him personal advice and predicts the rest of his life. A device that leads him to the end of his life. Where was this shit coming from? What sort of insane mind would come up with these insane ideas?
When I had no more post-its or paper, I had to use my own body. Body and mind mingled into a remarkable collaboration for my own peace of mind. Some of them were really insane. One of them was an idea about a guy who takes an elevator that kept going. I decided it would be against the rules to go to the brainstorming meeting at the office. It would have been, I don't know, like incest. I could not clear my mind for company ideas. I had enough with my own ideas. They were killing me inch by inch, letter by letter. I got another idea. I had to get rid of this, and the sooner the better. Going into rehab was the best thing. It was either that or going down on my own creativity. made me sick. Not only sick in the head, but sick to my stomach. I had to throw up. I puked the ideas right out of my body. A little toy made me think about my childhood when I was too small to have any great ideas, too innocent to have ideas. I wanted to go back to that period. What if a guy woke up and found himself... Christ, this is getting to be too much. I wanted to wash away the ideas like sins of my body. But the mere fact was that that was just another idea. A surreal idea about a man who was stalked by ideas. One of those ideas being about a man who got stalked by ideas of which one idea was about... Oh, God, it was endless. I wanted a clear head, nothing on my mind, silence, no ideas. I wanted to think about nothing and be nothing. It wasn't safe anymore. There was only one thing to do. The last idea of them all. The great escape of great ideas. I felt my life and ideas slowly sink away out of my body. At last, I had no more ideas. But then again, I had no idea what was going to happen to me. Maybe death was just an idea and nothing more.